Ever wondered about the hidden side of the internet? Explore the dark web with us as we unravel its secrets, risks, and rewards. What lies beyond the surface web? And what draws individuals into this encrypted space? In today's video, we're diving into the intriguing realm of the dark web, a concealed part of the internet. Think of the internet as a vast landscape, and within its corners hides this mysterious space known as the dark web. Our mission is to grasp the core of the dark web, uncovering its unique features, understanding its characteristics, and navigating through the associated risks. It's like venturing into a digital terrain where secrecy and potential hazards intertwine. Join us as we commence this exploration, shedding light on the intricacies and potential risks of the dark web. Get ready for an informative journey. Understanding the dark web. The dark web is like the hidden corner of the internet, purposely tucked away from regular search engines and working behind encrypted networks. It's like a secret clubhouse you can only enter with special keys, and one of these keys is called Tor, the Onion Router. Once you're inside, it becomes a place for people to chat without giving away their identity, creating a sort of secret handshake for privacy. But here's the tricky part. This privacy sometimes gets used for not so great stuff. It's a bit like having a hidden room where people can do things they shouldn't. The dark web is like that mysterious alley where things can get a little shady, emphasizing the double-edged nature of privacy online. The layers of the dark web. The dark web is kind of like an iceberg. You know, that big chunk of ice in the ocean. What you see is just a tiny bit, and there's a whole lot more hiding below the surface. The part everyone knows is the surface web, like regular websites you can find on Google. Then there's the deep web, sort of like hidden rooms that you need special access to. They're legal and need permission. Now the deep dark secret is the darknet, the deepest layer. It's like the secret hideout where not so great things might be going on. So the dark web is this iceberg with layers, the tip everyone knows, the deeper legal stuff, and the darkest part where things can get a bit shady. Activities and content on the dark web. The dark web is like a two-faced coin. One side has legal stuff, and the other side is where things get pretty shady. On the not-so-good side, people use it for illegal things like selling drugs, weapons, fake money, and tools for hacking. It's like a digital secret market for all sorts of things you're not supposed to do. On the other side, it's also a spot where stolen identities hang out, and people offer up illegal services. It's kind of like walking into a dark alley where you're not sure what might happen, and things can get pretty uncomfortable. The dark web is like that part of the internet where some folks use the shadows to do things they shouldn't, making it a digital place that's better to steer clear of. Anonymity and Cryptocurrency Being undercover is the name of the game in the dark web, thanks to tools like Tor and a special kind of money called Bitcoin. These clever tricks let people keep their secrets and make deals without showing who they really are. It's like putting on a magic invisibility cloak when you're online. But here's the catch. Because of these sneaky moves, it's tricky for the authorities to follow the money trail and figure out who's doing what. It's a bit like a digital hide-and-seek, where people can do things in secret without getting caught. The dark web is like a place where privacy is the main player, making it a bit of a puzzle for the rule keepers to figure out what's happening behind the digital scenes. Risks and Precautions Stepping into the dark web is like entering a risky zone where there are real dangers like scams, sneaky software, and accidentally getting into illegal stuff. It's a bit like walking on a digital tightrope, and you need to be super careful. To stay safe, you've got to be smart. Use strong passwords and keep your computer software up to date, like putting on your protective gear. Getting into the dark web isn't a piece of cake. It takes some tech knowledge and understanding the risks involved. Law Enforcement Efforts Taking on the dark web is like a global game of catch the bad guys where cops from different places team up to fight cybercrime. These special squads are working together to find and grab people doing illegal stuff. But here's the tricky part. The dark web's way of keeping secrets and using secret codes makes it super hard for the detectives. It's like trying to solve a puzzle without all the pieces. The cops have a real challenge because the dark web is like a digital mask where the bad guys can hide, making it really tough to figure out what they're up to. The 
role of cybersecurity. In the vast landscape of the internet, where potential dangers quietly loom, cybersecurity emerges as the unsung hero, playing a pivotal role in safeguarding individuals and organizations from cyber threats. It's akin to having a robust fortress that shields against the sneakiest risks. Employing a multi-layered defense strategy becomes imperative, and this includes adopting trustworthy antivirus software, crafting formidable passwords, and fostering cautious online habits. These measures act as a collective armor, fortifying the digital world against potential hazards, especially those associated with the enigmatic dark web. This proactive approach to digital self-defense holds significant importance, instilling a heightened sense of security in both individuals, navigating the online realm and organizations, steering through the complex cyber landscape. Ethical use of the dark web. Even though the dark web is known for not so great things, it's important to realize there's a good side too. Journalists, activists, and whistleblowers sometimes use it to stay safe using the dark web's secret cloak to hide. Looking at the dark web from an ethical viewpoint shows there's more to it than just the bad stuff people often talk about. Recognizing the ethical part adds layers to the dark web, reminding us that even in the deepest digital shadows, there can be a mix of good and not so good things. It's like acknowledging the shades of gray that exist in this mysterious online space. Emerging trends on the dark web. The dark web keeps evolving where new pieces and patterns emerge. With technology advancing, we witness various not-so-great things happening, different methods to keep secrets, and challenges in maintaining safety. It's akin to playing a digital game where the rules constantly shift. Staying aware of these changes is crucial to comprehend how the dark web continues to grow and transform. Keeping up with these trends is vital to navigate the twists and turns of the ever-evolving dark web. Balancing privacy and security. Using the dark web is like finding the right balance between keeping things private and staying safe. While being anonymous can help protect people, it can also lead to not so good stuff. Figuring out how to balance having privacy rights and stopping bad things from happening online is really important for how we use the internet. Balancing this act is all about creating a digital world where we can enjoy the benefits of privacy without letting things get risky. It's like finding the sweet spot so that we can keep our online world safe and sound. The dark web remains a mysterious and clandestine part of the internet, operating beyond the reach of conventional search engines. While hosting legal content, it gained notoriety for illegal activities and user anonymity. Understanding the dark web is crucial for safe online navigation. Staying informed, Practicing cybersecurity and avoiding illicit activities protect users from potential dangers lurking in the hidden depths of the dark web. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let us know your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.